Hello everyone, this is Vintage Rob 89 and today we have the 1981 Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Kenner Turret and Probot Playset. This is part two and we're going to be looking at the box today. Um, as you can see right away, the box art is beautiful. It's not one of the nicest looking boxes by any means, but... You see everything, and it is pretty presentable, and it's vintage, as you can tell. Um, and I'll bring it a little bit closer. Since I got the tripod in front of me, I gotta do it this way. Really, really, really cool. And we'll... Go to the sides. Got Han here blowing up the probot. And I believe we have it on the other flap as well. And then here are the action features. Just really, really cool box art. Really cool. And then this is the other side. Um, so that's it. That's the Turret and Probot playset, the part two, the finale, and pricing. So the one thing that you want to make sure you get is a presentable box. I know some people don't care about the boxes. I don't care if the POP is missing proof of purchase. I don't care. Um, but if flaps are ripped off, then I care. Um, so... With the box, um, this toy goes for, I think, like over $100, um, you know, with the box. Uh, I know without the box, uh, you pay 60 bucks for this play set or, or lower, um, you know, and expect stickers to be missing. Uh, it's very hard to find one of these um, in nice condition. Um, just because this came out during the height of Star Wars craze uh, and Empire Strikes Back toys was a big deal. So, um, you know, you're going to find a lot of these with wear and, and, and beaten up. Um, so you want to make sure you get the nicest one as possible. Um, I know with mine, all the stickers are tattered and put on reproductions, as I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, and the inserts in here are reproductions as well. So um, it, I got it because it's just stronger to hold the box up. So um, I know a lot of collectors wouldn't like me saying that, but it's just me. And, you know, when I sell this one day, I'll, I'll note that. So uh, other than that, um, what else could I say? We got the original instructions in here in the catalog, which I'm not going to pull out. Um, but, uh, just overall a really cool playset, uh, and I recommend for you to pick it up, and if you collect vintage Star Wars, it's definitely a must-have. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.